Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Harpa AI to help you with your job search. Now if you have been following the tech scene lately, there has been a lot of layoffs happening in a lot of different companies. So searching for jobs has definitely gotten a bit harder than before. Now there are three things that you do require to use these tools. One of them is the ChatGPT account. The second one is a Google account so you can download this Chrome extension. And the third one is a LinkedIn account because most of the jobs that we are going to be targeting are going to be on LinkedIn. And of course there are some other job postings you can use this for, but LinkedIn will be the main source where you can find these jobs. Why I'm mentioning this is because there are a wide range of jobs that are out there and if you're aiming to get a job in a field like gardening which does not require a resume submission but more like an in-person meeting through a connection this might not be applicable to you. So these are mostly going to be jobs which require a resume submission or a LinkedIn submission. Before I get started if this is your first time to my channel I recommend everybody to join my AI newsletter where I'm going to be sending out hand-drawn AI workflows similar to these. I'm also building a website where you can see some examples of these workflows to see what you can expect. So if you don't know much about Harpa AI, I recommend you to watch my first video about this which I did about SEO and you can access all the functionalities that are available using this slash where all of these show up. I bookmarked a bunch of these which I'm going to show today but you can browse through all the other ones that are available to see what might be beneficial to you. Now before you get started, I recommend expecting expanding this window for Harpa so you get more space to see what you're doing. The first functionality I'm going to talk about is called Resume Improver. If you click on it, you're going to see there's an option to paste your resume. And this functionality will edit your resume for content, clarity, format, and grammar. Sometimes you might have been applying for jobs and you're not getting any responses. That's probably not because your skills are not up to date. It might be because the formatting in your resume is not correct. So I have this sample resume for Charles who is a software engineer and what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the whole resume and then paste it right there. And when you press enter, you're going to see that Harpa will start editing that resume and format all the different parts of it. Now even if this one looks nicer when you print it out, most of the time you're going to do your submissions online. So proper formatting is crucial so the job analyzer does not miss the most important parts. Now I can just go ahead and copy this formatted version of the resume and paste it on Google Docs. Now if you paste it on Google Docs, sometimes the formatting might change because the color scheme is different on the original resume. What I'm going to do is to select the whole thing and change the text to dark black. Now you see how all the different skills of Charles is more clearly visible. Now the next functionality I want to talk about is called resume cover letter. When you click on it, it says it's going to write a tailored cover letter for any job based on your CV. Next, it says copy and paste a job description below. That means it will tailor your cover letter according to a specific job description. Now cover letters are getting less and less relevant these days and most of the time people don't have one ready. But if your job requires you to submit a cover letter, it's good to use something like Harpa AI to generate one according to the job you need. For example, I have this job by Google which is a software engineer in the embedded systems and pixel power optimization team. And I have this job which may or may not be applicable to me. But Harpa can make its best effort to make this cover letter applicable to this job according to my skills. So I'm going to copy this entire description right here and paste it back there. And now it says copy and paste your resume below. So I'm going to have my resume from this one which I just copied a few minutes ago and paste it right there. And just like that, Harpa generated this application for software engineer position from Charles and then it says, Dear hiring manager, I'm writing to express my strong interest in the software engineering position at Google as advertised on your website. With a bachelor's degree in computer science and extensive experience in software development, I am confident in my ability to contribute to the Pixel Power management software team. You see how it went through the job description and provided this line where I'm trying to get into this specific team. So this cover letter is definitely geared towards the job description that I provided right here. So it's not as generic as a lot of cover letters are. And I personally have used very generic cover letters over the years. So this one is definitely much better. It then goes ahead and mentions all the work that Charles has done at Embark, Market Smart, and the Marketing Science Company. And I think this cover letter is really professional. And I can go ahead and copy this and paste it back to my document right here. 
And sometimes even if a position does not require a cover letter, if you provide something as professional as this, it will definitely make you stand out and have a better chance at grabbing that position. Now the next functionality I want to talk about is called Job Eligibility Checker. Because sometimes you might not know if you're suitable for a job or maybe your resume is not geared towards a specific job. So what Harpa can do is to find that out. So when you click that, it says copy and paste a job description below. And this time I'm going to go for a different role which is a lead software engineer in test which is a hybrid role in San Francisco. I'm going to go ahead and copy this entire job description right here. And now it says copy and paste a CV below. So I'm going to go back to my CV right here and copy paste the whole thing. It says based on the provided job description for the lead software engineer in test position, here are some suggestions to tailor your CV. It says change your position title from software engineer to lead software engineer in test. Now this may or may not work out because if you are a software engineer who is really early in his career, who is like under three years experience, and you're trying to get a role which is called lead software engineer in test, which requires over 10 years, this position change might not help out. And actually that might be lying. So you do have to make sure that these suggestions are applicable to you. It says emphasize your experience working with infrastructure teams, DevOps, and performing QA and testing in data centric companies. Now this is more useful because the role is more test centric. So it requires more skills in tests and infrastructure. And if you highlight those specific kinds of experience up front that will help you get this role faster. Then it says showcase some leadership skills since the position requires some leadership skills that you might need to lead teams. It's important to showcase some of those skills. So this is another relevant suggestions I think that can be used for Charles. Now I think all of these suggestions are really good especially the last one where you mentioned that you are located in New York like Charles is located in New York right here but this role requires you to be in San Francisco. So so it's essential to clarify your willingness to relocate or work remotely if the job description mentions a different location or a hybrid remote arrangement. So you might need to move to San Francisco as a hybrid team member if you were to get this job. So this is an important point which Harpa found after analyzing the job description according to your resume. Now it says, do you want me to rewrite your resume according to these suggestions? I'm going to go ahead and say yes. And just like that, it has changed the entire resume to be more centered around test engineering versus development. It says now my objective is to be a highly skilled lead software engineer in test. And it has emphasized those skills here. It says the skills you have are test automation, quality assurance, backend testing, Python, JavaScript. And I think this is really good. It completely changed your resume according to that role and made Charles a lot more eligible for this role. And now I can just copy this result and go back to my document and I have a new version of my resume to work with. You do need to edit this around to see what makes sense. Like I would not have this one called lead because I was not a lead. I can say software engineer and then say test like this. And that might be a more acceptable edit. All right, the next functionality I want to talk about is a recruiter outreach DM on LinkedIn. Now, one of the best ways to get jobs nowadays is to contact recruiters directly on LinkedIn, but you do need to do that pretty professionally. So instead of applying for this job using this job posting for Harnham, you can actually contact Pornam, who is the recruiting consultant for this role, and you can create a very nice DM using Harpa, which will be much better than doing an easy apply here and being one of hundreds of applicants. And again, it says copy paste your CV below. I'm going to go ahead and use the CV from the top again. Here it says, hi recruiter name. I hope this message finds you well. I wanted to reach out and express my interest in the software engineering opportunities at this company. I recently came across your company and was immediately drawn to its innovative approach and exciting process. With a Bachelor of Science in Computer Science and over a number of years of experience as a software engineer, I have honed my skills and I can provide these skills. This is basically a different variation of that cover letter we just saw. So you can use this or maybe a slight smaller variation of this to directly DM the actual recruiter and get in line for this job. Now the last feature I want to talk about is this one called job interview coach. 
Here it says it'll help you warm up before your job interview, assess your qualification for a specific job, chat with a GPT HR generalist, that means an AI version of an HR generalist, identify your strengths and weaknesses. I'm going to go ahead and copy this job from Google again. Okay, it says, thank you for your interest in this role at our company. I'd like to start you by asking you about your educational background and relevant experience. Can you tell me about your qualification and previous software development experience? I'm going to say I have worked in three companies. It's great to hear that you have previous work experience. Could you provide more details about your roles and responsibilities? Now, of course, I don't know much about what Charles has been doing at Embark and Market Smart, so I'm not going to answer these questions because I don't know. But I think this is a good starting point for you to start explaining what you have done in the last few years in your past jobs. So when the actual recruiter asks those questions, you are ready to go. Now, that's all I have for you in this video. Hopefully, these five tools will help you out out in your job search. Now, if you did lose a job recently, I know it's hard and this is not the great time to be jobless because there's so many people who have been through layoffs. So the competition is definitely high, but hopefully using these tools, you can accelerate your job search a little bit or at least make the process slightly easier. Hopefully you got some value from my video. And if you did, make sure to subscribe to my newsletter and my YouTube channel and click like on this video. I have a lot more videos coming up. Till the next one, thank you so much.